How's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So I did not own uh, a film cutter or a splitter. I don't even know what you guys would call it. And if you live in Tokyo, in most cases when you send off your film negatives, both 35mm and medium format film, you typically get it in these types of you know sleeves, sort of like pre-cut already. And the lab, the person who works at the lab basically cuts it for you and perfectly aligns them in chronological order and makes the scanning process easier once you get back home. And for the benefit of the community and for my followers and subscribers, I tried to look for different labs within Tokyo to give you guys a peace of mind because if you're ever traveling in Tokyo, if you're shooting with a medium format camera or 35mm, you guys want to process those films. And I, be, I constantly go out and try to like get my films processed in a different lab. And one of the labs actually gave me a roll of film actually. And this got me curious and wondering because if you guys know, I do not own a film cutter and it got me really sweaty. I did not own one. And I was actually starting to research about film cutters. And I guess in North America, you guys have the Matin film cutter, if I'm right. They might be sold under a different name or something, but that's the photo. When I was actually researching, there was another company making a film what I call Splitter, which was JJC. I think their official name is JJC Film Cutter, aka Splitter. Quick note, JJC makes is a company based in Shenzhen, China, if I'm right. And they make really intricate photography related accessories. I purchased uh, sort of like a film screener in for the G9X, G7X camera, which didn't have that went off topic but they make really intricate like products for the photography community and this one in particular the film cutter is what you call a usb powered film cutter and when you cut film you need a, some sort of light source illuminating from the backside up towards the film negatives so you know where to cut your film this is one in particular is powered by LED. The main unit itself uses USB-C connection. So you can actually sort of like power this, not from the AC, but you can also power it from a mobile battery. And the cable included in this package, you can basically change the power output of that LEDs, plus or minus, and there's an on and off switch actually. So depending on if, if it's the, if the LED is too bright, you can basically cut that back down, but I typically wanted full on blast brightness. And because the cable included has this plus and minus white call, you can increase and decrease the amount of intensity of the light. If you can actually power it up with a mobile battery directly to the unit, but the bad thing about that is you can't change the output of the LEDs. So it, I highly suggest just using the I call the cable that's included in the package. So yeah, the JJC is really like simple to use. You basically sort of like open up the slider to slide in the film negatives and you basically close it down and you basically slide it towards the area where you want to cut your film like negatives and you basically slide the slider with a sharp blade pointing down actually across and you basically make a cut. And for my testing, the cut is really sharp and you won't get any dings in the you know film negatives itself. You get a super straight line actually, so that's worth noting. And I guess the main difference between the Matin film cutter and the JJC is that the Matin film cutter, if I'm right, there's a sort of like a winding wheel where you can forward the film after you cut your film negatives. The JJC don't have that, so you physically have to like not yank it, but you have to like pull it to the left side after you finish cutting. So if you cut frequently, I think the Madden is much better, but for someone like me who does it once or twice per year, I guess this method might be okay in my mind. Not too efficient, but not too slow. Also, this is going to be like a personal preference kind of thing. The Madden, you kind of slice it like a guillotine. I don't like that word, but the what you call the JJC on the other hand, it's like a slider. So I don't know, like when I, cut things from top to bottom like the mountain like film cutter I get a heart attack because when you're, what happens if you like slide the film the opposite direction and you cut it directly on top of the film photo itself I mean I'm gonna get a heart attack but the JJC on the other hand because of the blade is so small 
tiny and it basically slides across the film negative itself you won't get that sort of like space in between the blade itself and also the what you call the film negatives when you're chopping it down like a tree so that's just my personal opinion and also i, have to, I forgot to mention that you can also cut 120 medium format film with this but you guys probably know i send my film negatives to a lab and so far 100 percent of the labs give it back to me already pre-cut so i don't have to do that but if you're ever cutting medium format film this can also accommodate and do that so both 35 and 120 medium format film and obviously this is sort of like an overview of this product itself i haven't used it extensively or i'm not sure if i'm going to be using it abusing it because i don't cut film that frequently but one thing to note i'm not sure the mountain film cutter has this function but the jjc the blade itself you can basically replace if you get dings and stuff and that's like one of the things about these like foam cutters the blade itself which is like made out of metal or seed steel or some kind of like what i call composite material tends to get dinged early, like real relatively fast if it rusts you know you get a bad it's like a scissor you know if you keep on using it it's gonna start rusting and you're gonna get dings and stuff like that the JJC you can actually replace the blade only so you can basically pre prolong the longevity of the product itself the mountain film cutter that's being sold widely available in North America I'm not sure if you can replace that blade or if it gets dings and stuff like that because due to the fact that if you guys know film negatives like these in order to like produce we use silver extensively and silver is a metal which means that it's like cutting hairs and stuff like that like the hairdresser has to like frequently sharpen their blade or else you get a really bad cut so the same principle applies to these foam cutters the blade itself can degrade over time so there might be a possibility that you have to replace them so you don't have to replace the whole unit itself but you can basically replace the the blade only which is like really nice in my opinion so i went a little bit off topic but hopefully i made some kind of clarification on this product and i did not know about this product because if i'm right it was released in japan in tokyo in 2023 according to amazon so this is relatively a new product actually that came into the market so i thought it would be nice to mention it for you guys because there might be people who are thinking of cutting their own film negatives jjc might be an option available for you so yeah that's basically it on my coverage of the jjc's film cutter splitter hope you guys enjoyed this video found it informative and yeah we will see you next time peace out